Sagittarius. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 17th to the 23rd of January 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. So Sagittarius, let's see what we've got here. Did I say Sagittarius at the start? Or did I say Aries? No, I think I did say Sagittarius. It is you guys anyway. I'm onto it. Overall, the Magus, loving that. Manifestation, joining the dots together, connecting everything to allow these dreams and these goals to happen rather than forcing the issues. Actually putting some plans in place and um, interconnecting everything. Past energies, you had the Eight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Wands. Wow, someone was determined to move on to bigger and better things back here in the past. That's probably about all I can say about that. <laughs> Having the confidence and determination to walk away from something or someone and, um, and on to bigger and better things. Present energies, you have the Princess of Cups, King of Cups, the Star. Your bigger and better things might have come around love. There might have been love on offer here. You may be offering love to someone, but being very in control of your emotions and being in very being very much in control, makes sense there, of your goals and your wishes and your dreams with the star there. It could be dealing with an Aquarius and that possibly where this comes into gear um, of connecting everything together to follow your dreams. Future energies, you've got the Five of Swords, Princess of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Maybe a battle of some sort here, something or someone may be trying to block you from going for these goals here. And it seems to be a battle, banging your head against a brick wall, and you may actually just walk away from that energy and focus on um, achieving these goals. And walking away, possibly needing some downtime, looking after number one, doing some self-healing. But at the same time, there is someone here making an offer towards you. You may be offering something to someone there. Teamwork, collaboration, and um, being able to move forward as a team here. Some sort of relationship, whether it's love, whether it's around home, well, around work, but um, not doing this alone. Right, so Sagittarius, let's see what the clarifications have to say. Starting with the Magus, overall for the week, loving that. Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, again, and maybe a bit of a battle to get that successful outcome because if there is a relationship of some sort here, um, it may not be equal give and take. You may be doing all the giving, which means someone else is doing all the taking. Again, it doesn't have to be around love. It may be around home, around work, but it's all about getting things back into um, equal balance. And that in itself may be a bit of a battle. Eight of Cups in the past. You had the Ace of Swords. Wow, double dose. Eight of Cups with the Eight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, which we have next. Yeah. So definitely some sort of emotional attachment in the past that was able to be left behind. Cutting that crap out and having this whole fresh new start. And as we said back there, and on to bigger and better things. The Wheel of Fortune, you get Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, Justice. Could be sweet justice there. I'm, I'm probably one that says, take that. <laughs> Look what I got, this bigger and better things here. But could be dealing with a Libra here. Doing that soul searching, doing that self healing, you finish with that down here as well. But coming out with that emotional stability, that happiness there, and um, realizing there are bigger and better things out there take that <laughs> queen of wands 
you've got the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, Knight of Wands. So somebody may not um, really like that and could be a reconciliation, an ex coming back here, wanting a new beginning when it comes to love. Um, you might not want a bar of that. You've got the Knight of Wands, which means you now have your own focus, your own goal. It may still be a roller coaster ride, but that's your focus now, not focusing on the past. Could also be focused on someone new here when it comes to this Ace of Cups as we go into the present energies. Just got this love on offer here. So yeah, someone may have you in their sights. You may have someone in your sights and you're ready to go for it. Princess of Cups in the present energies. You've got the Tower, the World and the Ace of Pentacles. It is some sort of new chapter here. Again, it may be a child, it may be a pet, it may be a younger energy here, maybe somebody significant, but there is this whole new beginning here when it comes to love. Um, divine timing, if it's meant to be, it will be. That world is there, let it happen naturally, but um, especially given you've got the Magus overall for the week, not forcing the issue here, but being able to release a lot of energy that has built up, in order to start this whole brand new beginning. It may be an existing relationship, as I said, it may be somebody brand new, but um, that world is there, got your back. King of Cups, you have the Eight of Swords, Six of Wands and the Star, which we have next. You've got a lot of flow on effect here, um, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but getting control over your emotions, maybe that victory with that Six of Wands. Things have always seemed to be blocking you from moving forward, but you may have got control of that, of your emotions there and found other ways around things. Always say legally and morally, but other ways towards chasing your dreams and your goals there. As we clarify this star, we've got the Hermits, Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Virgo here, but during that soul searching, there's light at the end of the tunnel towards your goals and your wishes. Um, it's so close. Okay, you may be going through some sort of emotional loss or grief, some sort of sadness. It may be from this energy that you've walked away from back here. You can't just switch feelings off just like that. But at the same time, you're so close to your goals that may be bypassing that Five of Cups energy slightly. But also know there's other loving energy around you and um, everybody goes through that in their own time, in their own space. I say don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on. But doing that soul searching allows you to see that light at the end of the tunnel and um, regather your thoughts and focus on where you're wanting to be heading towards. Future energies, Five of Swords, you get the King of Pentacles, the Moon, the Chariot. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, because the Moon is Pisces, Cancer is the Chariot, and you've got this King of Pentacles. So when things are darker and greyer, and it does seem like a continuous battle that's going on, that moon shines clearly and gives you a clear path to see, um, see things and to get, keep the energy moving forward and to be moving forward freely. And um, yeah, that success, getting control of finances, everything falling into place, maybe quite um, overwhelmingly so, like it may be sudden, all the success starts to come flooding in and um, it may be a bit overwhelming there, but you've got that moon there and you've got that chariot there to keep things moving forward. Not let you get stuck in that battle situation with the Five of Swords. Princess of Pentacles, Sagittarius, you've got the Three of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Hanged Man. Okay, so yeah, could be a broken heart here due to a third party situation, whether that's around love, around home, around work, um, but there's a lot of emotional support here, a lot of emotional stability, it's flooding in that support around you at this time, which may be this offer with the Princess of Pentacles, just to help you through that heartbreak there. Um, it may be. You've been waiting for a decision to be made and you're able to make that decision yourself and cut yourself free from that energy of feeling like you're just hanging around in limbo and nothing's happening. Maybe teamwork, maybe collaboration, 
problem halved, no problem shared, problem halved. That's the way it goes. But um, that emotional support is around you right there with that energy. Even though you want some time to yourself here with that Four of Swords, Four of Wands, Nine of Wands, Princess of Pentacles, which we just had. So again, there is um, offer, an offer here to work with you to go through this healing process. You've got, got through all these hurdles and obstacles. You are on solid ground here. There's stability, possibly a step up in commitment for some of you, but um, for others, just bringing that sense of stability back after having that time out for yourself to go through this whole process um, that's possibly been going on here. So let's see what the universe has, Sagittarius. There's the Four of Wands again, justice. <laughs> it's like, remember when I say, told you so. Um, and Eight of Pentacles. So again, stability, commitment, sweet justice, could be dealing with a Libra, very hard working, very focused, but don't lose sight of other things that are happening around you and other opportunities that may present themselves. But um, that stability is there, that may be what you're focused on um, here from the universe, but also that justice is there. Good karma, sweet justice, good result for the hard work that you do put in with that Eight of Pentacles there. So Sagittarius, we finish with Star Temple Oracle. You get number 18, the shining star, glow. I no longer dim my light, I shine bright for all to see. Love that. Coming out of that self-healing at the end here and coming out, allowing everyone to see your bright light glowing. So love it. That's what I have for you. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.